Max and Giovanni are a rather funny duo. They are initially rivals who fought for the affections of Daniel, only to become friends and even buddies. The question is, how exactly did they become friends? At the start of the show, but we're about to fight, so we decide who gets to sit next to Daniel. Look, I'm not gonna sit here. Nah, it's me who's gonna be sitting here. And before you were sit over there. And before you were sit over there. You take it on me. Who, me? You go back sit where you were before. Ah, no, I sit here. You not sit here. Ha, who's gonna be stopping me? Me. <laughs> Yourself. You think you're tough? Come out aside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where are you going? We go outside to have a punch down. You mean a punch up? <laughs> I'm going to where? Uh, how you say yeah? Knock his bloody block off. <laughs> we see who's a bloody blocker is a knocker off. <laughs> oh, just a minute. What is all this about? I tell you, Mr. White. Brown. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> it's about where we sit. Well, what's wrong with where you were sitting before? It's uh, my eyes, Professor. I've got to sit near the front. Here. Oh, I see, and I suppose it's got nothing to do with the fact that Danielle is sitting here too? She is? <laughs> I never noticed! You see, so my eyes, I'm a little shorter sighted. And also, I'm much a bigger liar. It's not true, Mr. Green. The name is Brown. You see, I'm a color blind as well! <laughs> And Max, I suppose you've got trouble with your eyes as well, have you? Oh, no, no, no. My eyes are okay. Uh, it's my ears. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not hearing very well. That's a likely story. What you say? <laughs> I say you both go back and sit where you were sitting before. Now. Santa Maria. Yeah, and here in episode two, where they compete again. Oh, there you, you sit here. Thank huh? you. Merci. I get the coffee. Yes. Coffee black? Thank you, please. Coffee black. Hey, I'll get the coffee for Danielle. Too bad. Sugar? Merci. Uh, how about the biscuit? You like the biscuit? I would like that. Good. I'll be back. <laughs> A packet oh, of biscuits, please. Oh, Pronto. Look, wait your time, love. There's a queue here. Go on. Yeah. 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 Pack of the biscuits, please. Oh, I'm sorry, we haven't any left. <laughs> However, in episode 3 of season 1, it seems they are beginning to become more friendly when Max tells Daniel Giovanni will fix their problem, which is them not completing their homework. Anything you want. <laughs> I'm in very big trouble. I kill him. <laughs> <laughs> the man who put you in big trouble. There is no man. Your gracias. No, it's my homework. I know finish it. I haven't even started it. <laughs> but Monsieur Brown is going to be very angry. Don't worry. Giovanni, he's going to fix everything. Yeah? What is Sarah? Oh. Okay. Who wants the homework? Only 10 p each. <laughs> okay. Hey, 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 hey. 10 p, no peseta. <laughs> Um, okay, right. who's the next? Yes, please. Um, Giovanni. Yeah. Please. Yeah. How, 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 how we know answers are right? Sure answers are right. My landlady's little boy writes them down. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah, episode 7, they still can't really be called friends because they're basically doing favours for Daniel as shown here. Your book, Daniel. Thank you, Max. It's all right. Your handbag. Just a minute. Hey, next time you carry the handbag, huh? No, I think it suits you more. <laughs> hey, give me a kiss. <coughs> Your hand back. Thank you, Giovanni. You just missed it. We are having our photographs taken by Taro. Taro, I would very much like you to take a photograph of me. Hey, I take your picture. You have not the camera. Sure, I've got the camera at home. You come back with me after the class and we take lots of pictures. And then we can see what develops. Eh? What you say? I say no. <laughs> you want her pick. However, their friends start to grow here as they hatch a plan to make Mr. Brown happy by making the whole class cheat on the exam as shown here. Quite a hard one, this. Construct a sentence using the word indisposition. Sure. <laughs> 
every Saturday I play football and I am being the goalie keeper because I like playing in this position. <laughs> Look, this is no laughing matter. If your present standard is anything to go by, you haven't a chance of passing your exams. Now, I suggest you all take an early tea break, study those questions, and let's hope that you show some signs of intelligence. Otherwise, we might as well stop wasting each other's time. <coughs> hey, Max. The professor is mad at us. Sure. We must do good with these questions. Yeah, we got to get every question right. How we do that? I've got an idea. Professori has got the answers, right? So? So we get them from him. He's not going to give them to us? He don't have to. We steal them. <laughs> That would be cheating, Mr. Brown, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hurry up. Yeah, nearly finish. All right. You look in, Mr. Mr. Brown in the classroom? No, Mr. Brown is in the tea room. Down the corridor and on your left. I am familiar with the geography of this building. Sure. Would you mind moving? What for? I wish to enter the classroom. But Mr. Brown is in the tea room. So you have already told me, but I wish to wait for him in the classroom. Okay, Miss Courtney. <laughs> you want to go into the classroom, Miss Courtney? I will open the door for you, Miss Courtney. I am not deaf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Capello, all ready for taking your exam? Sure, all ready. Good. In episode 8, they might already be friends because Max says a white light to prevent Mr. Brown from knowing Giovanni drank alcohol. What's the score? Six and eight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very close. What's that? Ah, uh, it's some. Um, uh, it's. Uh, it's uh, water. Sure, it's water. In episode 9, they both were tricked, thinking they'd get to kiss, they get to kiss Daniel. Both of you, the most beautiful French kiss. Mm. Oh. oh, I wonder who's going to be first. Close your eyes. There. <laughs> In episode 11, they hatched a plan to save Mr. Brown for losing to Mr. Jarvis. Though the intention was to save their money, they put it on Mr. Brown. We're going to lose our money. Well, we got to do something. I have an idea. Hey, that's a good idea. Hey, Mr. Woodwork, you box real good, you know? Thanks. <laughs> Listen. You boxed before? No, I once or twice. I don't reckon your Mr. Brown stands much of a chance. Well, maybe. Somehow, I don't think I like to be in boxes, you know? Yeah, no. In episode 13, they both can be seen hanging around together in the park. From this, what I can say is since Max, both Max and Giovanni fought for Daniel's infection and realized neither of them are going to get to, de get to date Daniel, they decided to put aside this grudge and become friends. Even in season 2, episode 6, they became roommates. You don't usually move in together with someone unless you know them very well and get along well. Hus. Who's Hus? Um, us. <laughs> Me and Giovanni. Sure, we got a room. I didn't know you shared a flat. Yeah, I had to leave my other place. I had a big fight with a neighbor because of the noise. What noise? Every night after midnight, guitar practice for one hour. Oh, well, surely you could ask them to stop? No. Why not? It's me who practice the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Don't still practice the guitar, do you? No, finish guitar. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> now I practice the drums. <laughs> What? I make it a joke. I don't practice anything. Hey, what you say? You can stay with us? Well, I am... Um... Okay, you stay. So my bedroom, this is the living room, and this... And that's my bedroom? No, that's the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> well, where am I sleeping? Well, you sleep here on the sofa. Sure, it's a very comfortable <laughs> Don't worry, 
when they're chilling in the balcony, they can be seen joking around and having a good time, and even want to go to the disco to pick up some girls. Any cotton wool? In the bathroom. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Hey, why is he shouting? I don't know. You want a beer before we go? Sure. There you are. Hey, it's a stuffy in here. Yeah, there's a bit, isn't it? Ah, that's a better. Yes, sir. Salute. Nice party. Fantastic. You know, Max, I really fancy that Ingrid. Yeah, you fancy anyone. That's not true. Is it? <laughs> I don't fancy you. In season 3, Boba then decided to adop adopt a pet parrot and share Polly so that each get a turn to take care of her. Ciao, everybody! Hey. Hello, boss! Uh, Only just made it. Sorry, boss. We had things to do. That's right. We just got a fantastic bird. Really? Does this bird have a name? Sure. Polly. In the future, kindly refer to her as Polly and not as a bird. Okie cokey. She's gonna be very good company for us at night. <laughs> us? What do you mean us? Well, we're gonna share her. One night she sleeps with me, another night she sleeps with Max. I don't think I want to hear anymore. Why? You not like birds? Well, let's just say I don't like sharing them. Hey, I fixed something for you. You give me a fiver, we go get you a bird. Sure. What color you want? <laughs> oh, what color is yours? Mostly red. With a blue neck. And a green dress. <laughs> ah, the penny's dropped. Where? <laughs> Polly is a parrot. Oh, that's right. What do you think she is? An elephant? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Sit down. What about the penny? Ignore the penny. What? Even though both Max and Giovanni fight as shown in Season 2, Episode 3 and Season 3, Episode 7. Plenty trouble in the classroom. So what do you mean trouble? Maxi and Giovanni, they are murdering each other. Okay. I'm ready when you are. And I'm ready when you are. Hey, come on, hey. Hey. Come on. Why you come on, then? Okay. Oh, oh sure, man. <laughs> You're going to be sorry. We still are going to be sorry. Okay. <laughs> come on, then. I'm waiting for you to come on. And I'm waiting for you to come on. Oh, come on, stop this brawling. Oh, so lucky for you, Professor. Stop me from giving you a black eye. <laughs> I will not have fighting in the class. Fighting? It was more like dancing. I was just warming up. Yeah, me too. Yeah, well, what is all this about? I tell you, Professor. Isa called me a wop. And he's calling me a greaseball. <laughs> yeah, come on, everybody, sit down. I wish you could pick up proper English as quickly as you pick up slang. I have enough trouble with Ali and Ranjit. Now, don't you two start falling out. I shake hands. Come on. Come on. Right, now, tonight... Your big mouth. Yeah, my big mouth. What about your big mouth? You started it. I tell you something. Harper is right. You are an ignorant spaghetti-eating twit. <laughs> Listen, Shorty, you get up off your knees and say that. Don't you speak to me like that. Well, don't you push on me like that. Ah, uh, push off. <laughs> Friends fight. Even the best of friends fight. However, it is unknown what happened to Max in season 4 as he is absent there. So poor Giovanni. He doesn't have his bestie with him there. In conclusion, Max and Giovanni became best friends because they know the competition for Daniel's impression are pointless and so they decided to be friends instead. In the next law video, I will cover why Mr. Brock becomes more impatient in season 4.